Welcome to Book Talks with Diane. Today's book is Triangle by Danielle Steele. A Paris gallery owner finds herself in danger when a mysterious man begins leaving her messages. In number one New York Times bestselling author Danielle Steele's thrilling new novel. As she approaches the milestone milestone birthday of 40, delicate blonde beauty, beauty Amanda de la Nuni finds joy in running a chic contemporary art gallery in the city of life. The only child of a French businessman and an American model, both now deceased, Amanda lives well and adores her dog, Lulu, but so far the love of her life has eluded her. Then she meets Olivier St. Alban, a dashing publisher. At the same time, she reconnects with Tom Quinlan, an old boyfriend from her days at NYU 20 years ago. He's now a lawyer on sabbatical who has come to Paris to devote himself to writing a thriller. Charming Olivier is a master at the art of flirtation. But as Amanda feels herself falling for him, she learns he is married. Providing counsel and support is her friend and co-owner of the gallery, fun-loving bachelor Pascal LeBlanc. When Amanda begins to receive threatening phone calls late at night, it is Pascal she turns to. Then someone breaks into her apartment on the left bank, and it's all too clear she is in real danger. But from who? An old love, a new love, or a stranger? As love enters her life, so does terror. Triangle is at once the story of a woman dedicated to staying true to her principles and a breathtaking tale of suspense from the one and only Daniel Steele. I gave this book four stars. I love Daniel Steele. She writes books that I love to read. This one is a little different from her others, but I did like it a lot. I did figure out the plot twist, but that is so much better to me than being confused when what I thought was going to happen doesn't. If you are a Danielle Steele fan and you like romance novels and mysteries that you can figure out, plus a book that is very easy to read, you need to get this one. I checked mine out from my local library. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you again soon.